again. We got your boy him 500. Bring y'all some more game, some more game, some more game. Let's check it out. See, I need to get with y'all. People hit me all the time. Yo, I need to get with y'all and just be able to tap into your circle. And, and cause I know, man, I'll be able to help y'all take it to the next level because the ambition that you got is there. It's just time to take it to the next level. But guess what happens? It's hard to get in my circle. But it's a circle for you to actually come and build in the family. That's why I built it that way. Cool. You might be an introvert. Perfect. If you're an introvert, guess what? Go to the chapter meeting. Go to the chapter meeting. It's free. It's free. You're already in recession proof. It's free. Go to the chapter meeting. You might be one of the 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 the, the, the people that's like, nah, I ain't no introvert. I'm outside. You might live in Philly and be in the Philly chapter, and go to the Miami meetup and and go meet with the Miami meeting, the Miami chapter. You might fly and go meet with the Atlanta the Atlanta chapter. So I'm trying to get popping in the A. I see all them out there. Let me go to Atlanta. It's 400 people in that chapter. I'm going to go to the Atlanta chapter meeting. I'm going to go to California chapter meeting. And meanwhile, you flying all over the world, tapped in, and you just building up your relationships and your network. It changed the game. Ain't no chapter meeting $58. Chapter meeting free. If it's $58, inbox me. It changed the game. These are the things that we do to just really take it to the next level. But it's, it's just a dope network to have. Right? So guess what happened? If y'all ain't near those cities, go join the chapters, man. <laughs> like, oh, Atlanta chapter, y'all crazy. But my goal is this, is that we start building wealth. Foundation, I go on tangents, so I'm bringing it back. We go on wealth by what? Right? We go on wealth by doing this. We go on wealth. We go on by building wealth, right? We start building wealth. How do we do it, right? <clears throat> we start building wealth by actually establishing the foundation of financial literacy, right? Start building your wealth by establishing your financial literacy. Once you do that, guess what happens? After that, it then goes to, hey, my credit is together. I got access to capital. Now I'm just investing in my education. I'm just learning. Let me learn the proper things to do. It ain't always let me just go make more money. How can I alleviate overhead and just focus on learning more? How do I get to learn more? Right? So once I get to learn more, now that I'm going, okay, I'm learning more. I'm learning the things to do. I'm learning, okay. This is how I set my business up. This is how I help. This is how I budget. How many people bought a course on budget? Right? How many people bought a course on budgeting? Nobody's buying a course on budgeting. That's the that's the key part. Imagine just go go get go get a course on budgeting. Buy a book on budgeting, right? And just figure out exactly how to be the best budgeter. Like, let me build out a, a bulletproof budget and learn how to stick to it. One thing for me, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what he's talking about, about budgeting, but from a successful businessman, for me to you, to let you know how I do it, if it don't make money, don't spend your cents. And that's just that, period. That that's his lean spirit. Because now, if if, if I'm having problems with a thousand dollars and I can't budget it right, I'm damn sure not gonna be able to budget a hundred thousand. It's gonna be motherfucking Bugatti season around here. If I make a hundred thousand a month, I'm buying a Bugatti, right? Because some people budget. This is how some people budget. I make five thousand dollars a month. I can spend forty five hundred dollars. I make five thousand. I can spend forty five hundred dollars a month. Right? That's what people. Some people feel like, shh, shit. I only pay 2000 in rent. I got $3,000 extra dollars. 
shit, I probably can get a $2,000 Lambo, spend the other $1,000 on my bills. <laughs> How can I spend all the money I make every single month? And never make it grow. So what I'm looking at is this, is that once we continuously build, we start to build, and now we got, okay, our budget is together. Our habits is getting together. Now, what businesses can we start, right? Like this, it's 1,400 people on here. Y'all, what businesses do you guys do? My, for those of you that got successful businesses, what businesses do you guys do as individuals? Drop it in the chat. What businesses is it that you guys do? Boom, and that's what we're gonna do on, at each one teach one. Once we get that started, where we're gonna get people. I wish I had fourteen hundred people in here for for shit. So I'll put like I ain't gonna tell them exactly how we're gonna do this shit, but where we're gonna get everybody grouped up and everybody just you know just spread knowledge on how y'all business is doing. And believe me, everybody business can help everybody else business grow. And plus, some people wanna juggle more than one. Where some people want to just get they one business situated and get that running properly. Some people want to juggle. Some people want to juggle. Some people want to juggle. So, you know, it's a big world, state to state. Just because you're doing what you're doing in your little area, it could just work for, it might just could work for somebody in another area. You know? So let's get that rolling. 1,400 people, that's a lot of people, though. Digital marketing agency. Mm -hmm. Cleaning service, video game business, video game business. Somebody said they got a meal prep business. Bet. Dispatching. Bet. Yeah, Digital marketing man. agency. Bet. Mentorship. Owner of a smoke lounge. Bet. Cleaning service. Healthcare. Video game Home business. Healthcare. A clothing brand. Mentorship. Credit repair. Funding. Toro. Ecom. Healthcare. Shout out to the lady making candles. Y'all go buy some of her candles. Miss um, Hernandez. <laughs> Miss Hernandez H. You know what I mean? Y'all go buy some of her candles. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> right? Lifestyle clothing brand. Toro Credit Rehab. Business credit. Real estate. Okay. Candles, cannabis company, mentorship, credit repair, car hauling, multi service, right? Creole Poppy, what the hell is a multi service? What is that? Multi service, anyway. Pro grooming, event hair, space, skincare, event Somebody's space, author, cool. trade line, business, catering, clothing, intellectual property, dispatch, law, and a and markets, mental health, laundry cannabis, service, credit repair, laundry, multi service, dispatch, event okay. space. Right? Security Clothing, guard agency. dispatching. These are all things, Cannabis right? Distribution. A laundry service. <laughs> Look at how many different Flooring businesses. Company, Security guard agency. E-commerce. A cannabis okay. distribution, right? Texas. Hold on. Trucks. Texas. That's a full-time thing? I think that's like seasonal, ain't it? I don't know. Y'all tell me about it. Smoothie Texas. company. Airbnbs. Oh, a trucking. Smoothie. Audio book a smoothie production. trucking. Like Airbnb. Oh. Remodeling. Flooring company, licensed marijuana grower, credit repair, film production, content creation, local investor. Lashing These hair, are all different businesses that people line, do that water we brand, figure out, okay, well, all of these shelf, things make money. Housing company. Right? Cloud, all of these things make security. money. Right? Self-care, counseling. So now that all of these, we understand that there's so many ways out here for banking, us to make money. Luxury Cyber pillows. Security, right? This motherfucker say, y'all yeah, go buy her pillows. Somebody go buy, buy a pillow from her. The hell you sell pillows? Hold on. That ain't no easy business to get into. Pillows by luxury designs. Y'all yeah, go, 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 uh, yeah, go highlight them. Like, yeah, for y'all good pillows. Cause pillow, that's not the easy business to be in. That's one of the weirdest ones I've seen on here. A luxury pillow. So now that all of these, we understand yeah. that there's so many ways out here for us to make money. Cybersecurity, right? Infinite banking, right? There's so many ways for us to make money. Virtual assistant agency. What y'all assist with? Miss Kira Johnson. Mm -hmm. Boxing gym. But the fact of the matter is that we're not in a position to act. 
Bruh It always gotta be somebody doing some dumb shit This nigga put Netflix watcher Keep going Actually run a business Because we don't have the ability to start To, to have a, bar, a budget for marketing We don't have it in us The, the stability to set up and, a, and know where we can go set a business up properly Right Actually run the business How to hire people How to hire a staff Hell how to even run ads to hire people People struggle with these are all things that's needed. Right? And then those are just ways to generate money. Understand, we always got different things. We got our earned income, right? We got our earned income, our semi-passive income, our passive income, and then we should have investments. Everybody should have four quadrants. Earned income. This is what we work for. And I ain't gonna lie. In my each one teach one, he did. He started it right, but I ain't gonna lie. And my thing, we're going to pick somebody. And we're going to just, you the person of the day. I know it's 1,400 people. It's going to be a whole lot of times, like, hard to get everybody in with their days and shit. Might could just pick somebody about an hour or something. But for a whole hour or whatever, whatever the case may be, 30 minutes, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? We're going we gonna to bone grill. We're going to ice grill. I want it to be a whole, the whole, the whole session or whatever. We're going to bone ice grill that person's business. Just break it down. They're going to bring it up. You know, they, they assets. You know, like, I just want to see how much you're losing, how much you're gaining in a year, for about a month. What did you change? Did you do any goddamn? When the last time you did some uh, some upgrades? What's the what's the latest equipment, technology in your field? Do you have the latest technology and equipment in your field? You feel me? Like, uh, the marketing, how is your competitors marketing? Do you know your competitors? Do you know your competition? How big are they? Like, is it a global thing? Is it just a regional thing? Like, you gotta break that shit. I wanna break. The, I wanna break the whole shit down for their business and just help their business grow. You feel me? Cause somebody else could see something that somebody else doing their competition and got down. Get them a little pointer that help raise them a whole like fifty thousand dollars a extra a year. You feel me? Like, just help somebody grow. Like each one, teach one, man. We can help each other grow. I either somebody else might know. Uh, easier uh, easier way for them to do it uh cheaper equipment for them like uh material i want to say not equipment but cheaper material and stuff you know so yeah or we run our business that we work and, and have to, that need i just think they ran past that too fast though. these are involvement that's our earned income right then from the earned income we build this out then we build out our semi-passive income then we build out our passive income. Semi-passive income are things that are semi-passive. It may be something like a, 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 a trucking company that you put on and let somebody else outrun and run into somebody else's authority, right? You know, it, it's certain things, Toro, Airbnb, you know, you can do those things, semi-passive. Those are semi-passive income streams. That then part. you got passive income streams where you just hit the money in. Mm -hmm. Options, another semi-passive income stream, right? Then you got your, your passive where you do your investments, right? Where you just got passive income streams. You may buy into somebody else's business. I buy into a lot of businesses to be a silent partner. Those fall, but some fall semi-passive. Some fall passive because they don't want me to do nothing. They just needed me to put some money up. These are all things. They're my investments. Where I park my money at, right? When it comes to insurance and things like that. Where do you put your money at? That part. Where's that money going? Don't let your money sit. You know, they, like, wait, what? Their their mentality is don't put it in the bank just to let it sit because it ain't doing nothing. Their money sleep. Don't let your money sleep. How your money working? Doing backflips and front flips, slides and from side to side, and you know, don't just have your money sleeping dormant. These are the four. These are four quadrants that everybody should be focused on, right? This is where the money sits when it comes from here. So this money should go to here or here, and then the money and profits from here go into your investments. To where your investments should outgrow everything. The money that's coming back off of your investments should start to become. This is when you're going to get a problem. When you get the five hand slap to the face. Right? When this. The income from your investments. Start to outgrow this. Then you rich. And you build an own generational wealth. But we got to first start with our earned income. And from our earned income it got to get strong enough to actually have extras to go into semi-passive extras to go into the passive income
right? But it starts with our earned income. And then we gotta be wise enough. The, the hardest part with the investments is being wise enough to make smart investments that's gonna give us a return that's gonna outbeat our earned income. Once you get to that point, it's over. Once you get to that point, it's a five finger slap to the face. It's over. But my thing is, the passive income come from investments, right? Oh, uh, I'm not wrong. I don't know. Keep going. Where your investments is paying you more than you can make. Now all of these just start to grow. At that point, you just start to grow your semi pass, your semi passive and passive income streams. That's it. You just grow those, and the earned income no longer becomes valuable. So follow me. Boom. Earned income. Semi-passive. This needs to get strong enough to fund your semi-passive. Right? And your passive. Now your passive income and your semi-passive should fund. Your earned income should not fund your investments. Your semi-passive and passive income should fund your investments. Once your investments grow enough to the, the money that you're making off your investments, out outweighs your earned income, you no longer need your earned income. So now your earned income is still here. So you still got your four quadrants. So for all y'all who don't understand, for me, for my understanding, I'm figuring that his investments in straight partnerships. It ain't like uh, starting up no comp. Like that's not no investment he's talking about. He's talking about straight partnerships. Like some shit already going on and you just drop a bag on it like if you had a friend starting uber and you you know what i mean you was a quarter ownership in uber and when it blew up and it's boom like i'm taking it that i don't know but yeah your earned income just got to the other side now your earned your semi-passive and passive income just continues to build your actual investments and the money that you make, then you ball the fuck out. So if you can get to this quadrant, this is where you ball at. This is where you ball the fuck out. Because this the fuck you money. This the money that can't nobody tell you shit. It's over. It's nothing you could do to me at this point. It's nothing you could do to me at this point. That part. But that's the that's the that's the key of where we gotta get to. That part. That's the key of where we got to get to. So most people don't understand. I said, listen, just figure out how and what it is that you want to do. Figure out what some of us don't know what business it is that we want to actually start. We know we want to start a business, but we don't know what business it is we want to start. Join a community like Recession Group. We teach you exactly what business you want to start. Then I just rolled out. If you're at another level and you're trying to figure out, nah, how him 500 got four or five different seven-figure businesses? I mean, I done made a million dollars with four or five different companies. I'm on the verge of having two, two eight-figure businesses this year. Y'all need y'all credit repair. Go highlight them. Y'all go join Recession Proof. Um... Join Recession Proof. Subscribe to Recession Proof on Instagram. I'm at YouTube. How does that happen? <clears throat> I created a seven-figure club. Why? Because certain conversations don't apply to everybody. Mm. That's what I created the seven-figure club for. The seven-figure club is like, yo, listen. This is exactly what I do. This is exactly my blueprints. Here, you want to learn how to do events. You want to learn how to educate people. Whatever it is that you want to do, I'm here to help with you work one-on-one. -on -one. I'm becoming your partner. But it, that, that doesn't apply to everybody. The seven-figure club doesn't apply to everybody. Right? Seven-figure club doesn't apply to everybody. Recession proof applies to everybody because it's so many resources, network. You Hell, you can blow your business up in recession proof. Boom. Mm. And on that note, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Seven figure club don't apply to everybody, but I hope y'all working toward it. Y'all gonna get that one day. Recession proof, it applies to everybody, so everybody need to go ahead and subscribe uh, on YouTube. Go follow them. Go type it up on um, Google. Google recession proof. Follow wherever it take you to, and um, let's do it like that. 
And uh, till next time, uh, Him 500 giving y'all game. It's going to be a whole lot more coming, Two Times TV. Y'all already know we keep y'all with the entertainment, the news, and the, and the um, finances. So we're going to get y'all situated all different type of ways. We're going to keep y'all entertained and get y'all pockets right. So till next time, Two Game, we out. All right.